Yes. There's no evidence whatsoever of a resurgence of anti-Semitism. What you find is periodically whenever Israel engages in one of its murderous assaults, uh, there's an uh, increase, a spike in what's called anti-Semitic incidents. So you saw that during Operation uh, Defensive Shield in 2002, you saw it again during Cast Lead, and you saw it again during Protective Edge this past summer. The question is, is it anti-Semitism? Here is a state that calls itself the state of the Jewish people. And you have a head of state who happens to be a maniac, and he goes around saying, I represent all of world Jewry. He said, when I'm going to Paris, he said, I'm representing all world Jewry. When I'm going to the Congress to speak about the so-called threat from Iran, I'm representing all of world Jewry. So then you're going to fault people for taking him at his word? He's saying, I rep when I say we should attack Iran, I'm representing all of world Jewry. When I say we should attack Iraq, I'm representing all of world Jewry. When I say we should attack Lebanon again, when I say we should attack Hamas again, or Gaza again, I'm representing all of world Jewry. So you have a maniac who claims to represent all of world Jewry, and then people take him as word and think, okay, if he represents all of world Jewry, then, Jew then Jews are a problem. That's the logical conclusion. So if there's anyone who's causing the problem, it's the state of Israel and its head of state who keep claiming that their murderous actions are in the name of world Jews. There's a simple way to solve the problem. Stop calling yourself the state of the Jewish people because you're not. You're the state of Israel. And stop claiming that you represent all of world Jewry because world Jewry did not vote you. Nobody gave you that title. It's not surprising that in the face of a state that calls itself the state of the Jewish people and the head of state who claims to be acting, that there are going to be anti-Semitic incidents. Does that make it anti-Semitism? I, I don't know why you would call. If by anti-Semitism you mean an irrational, which is generally how people try to construe it, an irrational uh, hatred of Jews, that's not an irrational hatred of Jews. Norman Finkelstein, thank you. You're welcome.